construct a valve control. The very first thing I'm going to do is to draw a thin horizontal line. All right. After drawing the thin horizontal line, the next thing is to is to draw the vertical line, the thin vertical line. All right. So having done that, we will take note of this that our question, the dimensions we are given are very very small. For example, now the radius of the AD is radius four. All right. So why this area is uh, 4.5? It is very small. So this thing we called scaling. All right. So we are going to increase the scale of this dimension. So I'm going to increase it by four. So for every dimension I'm having in the question, I'm going to multiply it. By, I'm going to multiply it by four. Okay. So if that is the case, if that is the case, so from the midpoint here, all right, so this area is what is 4.35. So 4.35 by four is what is 17. 0.5 so which means the total span here is going to be what 35 all right so i'm going to do that now okay so i will measure my mark 35 i'm going to project it out yeah i'm going to project it out vertically okay so i haven't done that yeah the radius of the semicircle here is radius uh seven so seven times four is what that's 28 so i'm going to pick my ruler and measure radius what radius 28 so this is radius 28 placing it at the midpoint here all right so then i'm going to draw yeah i'm drawing with a thin line first of all all right so i haven't done that I'm going to what i will join this point here where the same circle touches this area i'm going to join them together all right so that is it over there. Then the same thing at the bottom here also. I'm going to what? join them together. I haven't joined them together. Then I can take in that radius 28. I can take in it now. All right. Okay. So I haven't done that. Yeah. The angle here or the leg here is in the initial dimension is the span of what? Span of 6. All right. So 6 times 4 is what? 24. Why the height is what? Is 10 before. 10 times 4 is what? Is 40. So I'm going to do that now also. All right. So mark 24. Mark 24. All right. Then mark 40. Mark 40. This is mark 40. So then I'm going to I'm going to uh, draw them out now. All right, so this area is also set to. Okay, so we are told that from the midpoint here towards this area is what it's marked 20. So 20 times 4 is what is 80. So I'm measuring 80 from the center towards the left and towards the right. This is mark 80 here. All right. Then towards the right also, mark 80. All right, I haven't done that. The radius of the circle is radius 4. So 4 times 4 is what is 16. So I'm measuring the radius what? Radius 16. This is radius 16. Placing it on the point of mark 80 here, I'm going to draw uh, the first circle on the left, then the second circle on the right. Okay, so I haven't done that. Yeah, so the tangential curves there, they are all based on the principle of what external targets. Yeah, they are all external targets. So if that is the case, we are going to apply what addition, addition. So for the very first one now, the radius of this particular area is what is radius uh, 28, all right? And the radius of our curve, yeah, the initial length is 11. So 11 times 4 is what is 44. So 28 plus 44, 28 plus 44, that is what, that's 72. So we are measuring 72 now. I'm measuring, so this is the mark of 72 from the center here. Or oh, I'm drawing my arc. Let me draw for the four this thing once and for all. all right so i've done that then the second one 44 plus 16 44 plus 16 is what that is 60. With my so, I'm measuring so this radio system now then at the midpoint of this i'm going to strike i have the point of intersection strike here point of intersection also striking here point of intersection then i'm striking here also point of what of intersection so i haven't done that 
the next thing is to, what, is to pick the radius of my what of my arc is which is radius 44 which is radius 44 that is 11 times 4 is what is 44 so picking radius 44 let me start with this area from that point of intersection i'm going to what draw my tangential curve all right i'm drawing my tangential curve as you can see then on this area also i'm going to what draw my tangential curve all right so the third position here point of intersection here also i'm drawing my what my tangential curve then on this fourth area here also my tangential curve all right so that's just again you can do the dimension and ensure you write at the bottom that you use a scale of what of four ratio one scale of four ratio one that is we increase the dimension by what by four all right so ensure you refer these videos to those who might be in need of it and also subscribe to this youtube channel thank you